How's it going? This is Hoyman, and today we're taking a look at the Totaku Tails figure. So taking a look at the sculpt of Tails, I feel that they have definitely captured the likeness of the character really well. Looks pretty much just like the character from all angles, and then the pose itself is really dynamic as well. So it adds really nice depth and appeal to this overall figure. So looking at Tails' face, again, I feel that they've definitely captured the likeness of the character really well. Looks just like Tails pretty much from every angle. And then the paintwork is very nice and clean for the most part. So all the yellow is actually molded in yellow plastic, but for whatever reason, it has a really glossy and shiny finish to it, whereas Sonic and Knuckles have a matte finish, so it's kind of odd that they went with this decision for Tails. The eyes are painted very cleanly for the most part, and then the pupils are very nice and sharp. I don't really have any problems with the eyes. Move to his mouth. It's painted nicely clean in there. Same for the nose. There is a bit of a paint bleed from the black to the white, but it's very minor. And the fur is nicely sculpted, but there is a noticeable seam line that runs across the length. And because it's on a white color, they're quite noticeable. Moving to the hair, you have the three spines. Very nicely sculpted, and they are somewhat a softer material, so you don't have to worry too much about those breaking. The ears are nicely sculpted, and then the paint inside is very clean as well. But I will say there is a seam line that runs across the entire length of his head. And because it's on a glossy yellow finish, it's quite noticeable as well. So it's a bit unfortunate. Moving down to the body, really well sculpted. The white part on his chest is very clean for the most part but it does get a bit scuffy towards the top. And like the head, there's also a seam line that runs across his entire body. And again, it's quite noticeable. His hands are well sculpted, but they don't really have any shading. So you can't really see too much definition in the sculpt, but it's still well sculpted for the most part. And then it does have the gray parts painted on as well and they are very clean. Moving to his tails, really well sculpted and they are solid pieces as well but they're not really that heavy and they are kind of on a softer material so again you don't have to worry too much about them breaking. And then the white parts are actually painted on but again it does look a bit unclean in some areas and where it meets the yellow. And like his body, there's a seam line that runs across both tails. And again, they are quite noticeable as well. For his shoes, nicely sculpted and detailed. You see the belt buckles on there as well. And they're painted relatively clean. But I will say where the white meets the red, it is a bit scuffy, so it's quite noticeable. Then you have the stand itself, a translucent stand. And it's not super fragile, but I'd still be careful when handling the figure. And then the base itself is a nice grass texture. And it's very nice and effective because of the way it's sculpted to really bring out the 16-bit era. And then the base itself has the iconic checkered pattern and it runs across the entire base. And then the bottom you have legal stuff. So overall, this is a really nice Tails figure and it's really well sculpted and detailed and the paintwork for the most part is very clean but some areas are a bit scuffy. And my main gripes with the figure is all the seam lines that I mentioned. It just kind of 
detracts from the figure a bit. And this is actually one of the best tales I could find. When I went to the store to buy him, a lot of them were quite... Uh, the quality was very varying on them. Some had really bad paintwork, such as the mouth just being painted off-centered, and then the paintwork just being really scruffy. One of them even had two left hands, and some of them were even kind of broken as well. So if you can find a decently looking tails, I can still recommend this figure. And then another grub I have is a very small gripe is that the base does look a bit plain. With Sonic and Knuckles, they came with parts that come with the game. So it would have been nice if Tails came with like a, a spring or a checkpoint stand or something. But it's nothing too major. The figure isn't too expensive. So if you're a fan of Tails or the games, I can still recommend this figure. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.